Kochani, wiele osób przyjeżdżających do Izraela, do Ziemi Świętej, często spotyka się ze słowem zatar. Co to jest zatar? Przysmak Arabów. Jesteśmy w sklepie Jakuba. Nasz yes. właściciel pokaże you welcome. nam, you welcome o co chodzi z tym zatarem i jak to się wszystko produkuje. You welcome in my grandfather's store. This name the source of zatar. The zatar is actually kind of herbs of um, tumian or hyssop. We ground the hyssop here, which you see here the herbs. And then we added a lot of sesame, sesame and sumac on the top. And then uh, we mix it like this, one spoon of the zatar. And we add on the top some sesame seeds and sumac. Sumac is kind of herbs as well. You can give, taste like a lemon flavor. Then we add, we seal by very good well. And then we add it in the, in the bags like this. Zatar actually, we eat the, on the pita bread with olive oil in the breakfast. And also for the children when they go to school, we add for children, it's very important for memory to recall information. It's also very well, very healthy for stomach, very healthy for blood. It's a kind of herbs, it's a fantastic taste and very healthy. You must to try, you must to taste, you, can, you must to use this in your home. It's very healthy. It's uh, now also the herbs, you can make a tea with this. Not only for, for, uh, for to use on the salads or pita bread, but also the, the, or, the original herbs, you can boil it with me, with water and you drink. It is very, very healthy, actually. The recipes of my grandfather here writing for us how to make the spices, how to make the za'atar step by step. And you can taste the best quality of za'atar in my store or my grandfather's store. You, you can find a lot of, a lot of kind of za'atar here and a lot of kind of herbs and the spices in my store. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.